Just freaking do it. Like, read the card. They have indestructibility. In freaking destructibility. It cannot die. Not die. You get that? Yes. Look at all the cards. We have to just make sure that we don't mill ourselves. What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Matches Malone. Thank you all so very freaking much for tuning in. I don't know why yesterday's video said it's only one day till Christmas. That is not true. Today is one day till Christmas. So, yeah. Wait, I mean, today is only the 23rd. I, I don't know what's wrong with me in numbers sometimes. Also, if you're a patron that has subscribed in the last two days, I'm sorry if I cannot shout you out today. Uh, I will do my best to do it in the next few videos, but I'm pre-recording stuff, so as you might have realized, I look exactly the same as yesterday, and that is because I'm here from the past. So yeah, you know the drill. It's freaking Christmas. I want to see my family. I want to party hard with my family, and that is why I will be pre-recording like three to four videos a day right now until I am ready to freaking leave. I have already recorded like the video from two days ago yesterday and today I will be recording the video from yesterday, today and tomorrow. And then I will only have like two to three more videos to do and that's going to be glorious. So enough with the yammering, let's get into the party hammering. Today we're playing a party deck because we're celebrating freaking Christmas and oh my lord, this deck is incredibly even better than it was before. I used to use party decks in the 2022 queue to get into Mythic easily. It was one of my best decks. It even got me in the top 900 at the end of the season. There is a video about that that you can check out in my, uh, on my channel. So, and uh, I thought, you know what? There's a new freaking uncommon that is just so good for this deck. So this is once more kind of a budget deck. Because all you've got to do is to get yourself the Inquisitor Captain. That is four rares out of the new set. If you have all the other ones that are here since the longest time, you have good chance to just, you know, have a nice freaking deck. The Inquisitor Captain though is very important for this deck. So if you don't have the four wild cards to craft this, maybe this deck isn't for you. But if you do have them, totally do. Because when it enters the battlefield, if there are 20 or more creature cards with mana value 3 or less among cards in your graveyard, hand and library, you seek two cards and put one of them onto the battlefield. Seek it means to just draw randomly two cards that cost three or less out of your freaking library. And that is just super freaking good. Before, the version that I played before had the Bears of Litiara in here and I got them for some glass pool mimics. The Bears of Litiara are pretty good, but not together with the Inquisitor Capitano. Because honestly, there would be not enough creatures. As it is right now, we are barely barely having enough creatures. So that is 7, 10, 18, 21, 25. So the moment that you have 5 creatures on the board, the Inquisitor Capitano is not working anymore, or like 6. If you have 6 on the board, just not working anymore. Just keep that in mind. The other new card that makes this deck bananas is the Angel of Unity. It's a cleric, and whenever it enters the battlefield, you cast a party spell, or you cast a party spell, a party creature in your hand gets plus one, plus one forever. And we only have party spells in here. Even this good old shapeshifter is every creature type. So if you're missing a wizard, if you're missing a rogue, if you're missing a warrior, now you have it. The one card that you won't be missing is clerics, because we have the archpriest, we have the angel, and we do have the inquisitor capitano. I don't know why this is a cleric, I don't know why I had to do this, but it is a cleric, and that is why it's in here. It just makes the deck so freaking powerful. So, how do we win with this deck? Well, we slam down a cleric, a rogue, and whatever this needs to be, like a wizard, and then we play the squad commander. Then you get a 1-1 one, one for each creature in your party. So if you play it alone... <coughs> oh, I got to stop sneezing during videos. So if you play this all alone, you get one little core warrior, which is also warrior, which is also good for the party. But at the beginning of combat on your turn, if you have a full party, all of your creatures get plus one, plus oh, 
and indestructibility. So if you copy your freaking squad commander with a glass pool mimic now, they will get plus two plus oh and double indestructibility. What? That is not a thing? Like, it's like infinity? Yeah, okay, okay. Well, I was just told by a person that doesn't exist that it is not a thing. But we have even more party payoff. We have the Living Vala. If you have a full party, you choose a non-land permanent opponent controls. And until, end of, uh, until the next turn, it can't attack, it cannot block, and its activated abilities can't be activated. So we can make sure that we can smash through with our big stuff, just tap down whatever they have. If we use this to on a planeswalker, they cannot use the planeswalker anymore. That is amazing. We can get mana rocks out there, we can get creatures out there, it is just super freaking good. Just target the one thing that you hate the most and you will be fine. Then together with the Archpriest of Leona, if we have a full party, we can give one of our creatures flying at plus one plus one until end of turn when we attack. And that is just so good. So that is three party payoffs already. But oh wait, there is more. The Nimble Trap Finder. It cannot be blocked if you had a party creature enter your, uh, the battlefield under your control this turn. And if you have a full party at the beginning of combat and you deal combat damage to a player, every creature now has when this deals combat damage to play a draw card. So if you have a full board and just swing in while the Nimble Trap Finder is out, now you will have a bajillion freaking cards in your hand. And with a bajillion freaking cards, there is not too much your opponent can do. Oh wait, there is more. We also have two instants that really help us out here a lot. We have the Spoils of Adventure. This costs one less to cost for each party creature that you have. So if you have a full party, this is a white and a blue for gaining three life and drawing three cards in instant speed. That is super good. And we have the Concerted Defense. We do not care about creatures too much. We have enough of our own creatures. But this counters a target non-creature spell unless it controller pays one plus an additional one for each creature on your party. So they will have to pay five if you have a full party if they want this not to counter their board wipe. And if they do have the mana, well, you could, in the worst case, still sacrifice the Limbala and give all of your creatures indestructibility or hexproof. That is the power of the Limbala. She's just amazing. Freaking amazing. And as long as you have a green source and one more creature, you will have all the colors you freaking need. Last card I want to talk about is the Masked, Wood, the Masked Vandal. I don't know why I always say Masked Wood, but when it enters the battlefield, you may exile a target creature from your graveyard, and if you do, you can exile a target artifact or enchantment and opponent controls. So if they have like a, uh, like the, uh, the Celestus, get out of here. If they have a key to the archive, get freaking out of here. If they have a freaking Amidok Massacre on the board, get it out of here. So yeah. Talking of Concert Defense, also targets the Meatog Massacre. Very, very freaking efficient deck. It is super strong. It is super fast. It is super freaking uh, good. Even if they wipe the board with the Spoils of Adventure and your freaking Nimble Trap Finder, you will always freaking find new cards. Landwise, we have three Dream Root Cascade, three Overgrown Farmland, and three Deserted Beach. I did not go with the Pathways. Because sometimes it is better to have a tapped land with both colors than to have an untapped land with only one color. But still we have some untapped lands with two beautiful forests, five beautiful islands and six very cool freaking plains. I mean this is no plain, this is literally a street, but I'll take it. This at least is somehow in the water and you could argue that a boat is some kind of an island, but this is definitely a forest. I don't know what they thought about these two, but there must be some connection to the story. So, this is Party Hardy. I'm Mattis Malone, and I will see you in those celebratory games. So I wanted to build a very beautiful three-color Nico Bolas inspired Grixis Dragon deck today. After I already did the first video, you know what happened? I played against nothing but dragons, everybody went first, and they always had a freaking dragon fire in their hand waiting for me. Always. I don't know how they did it, but they always went first, always had a whelp, and always had a dragon fire to shoot us down. It was disgusting. It was literally disgusting. 
All right, we do have the Angel of Unity here, and I will be putting this onto my Archpriest of Iona. Or am I? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. I am. All right, Werewolf Pack Leader. Oh my. Nimble Trap Finder here is pretty sweet. Let's bring it down, make our Archpriest even bigger, so that we have a nice little blocker here. I said a little, but actually look at it. It is so big and strong. So freaking big and strong. All right. So, I just hope we find a land here of whatever coloration would be good. So that we can play our spoils of freaking adventure. If they have a fight, so yeah, they do. They are right away. Just right away. Never not freaking... <laughs> have you ever in your entire life played against a mono green that, that didn't have it right away? Just right away. All right, making the Jaspara Sentinel a little bit bigger. And now uh, we do have the Spoils of Adventure. And we do have the board full of stuff. So they really need another Blizz, bro. The Ovenwald freaking oddity. Why are you doing this? Why? Give me one good reason why you're doing this. Was that really worth it? Was it now? I don't know. So we're doing this first. Maybe we draw something nice. We kind of did. So we're still missing a wizard here, aren't we? To be super amazing. Yeah, we are. So I'm slamming down the Archpriest first. Making my Jaspara Sentinel even a little bit bigger. And now I bring, bring down the Jaspara Sentinel. Alright. And now we're racing, my friend. Off to the races we go. So you can slam in for four all you want. I will just play another freaking squad commander. That is what I will do. The hollow... What is this? this... Enters the battlefield, seek a land card. Weird. And a scoop! Let's party, my friend! Let's freaking party! Sorry for slapping the microphone, but this is a big old freaking party. And we still managed... We have a 60% land ratio. Get out of here, game. I have 21 lands in this. And 23 lands only in this. 23. Still 60%. Get out of here. Oh my, it felt real good not drawing 70% lands. Mmm. And winning. And not losing to dragons having the perfect start. Oh, dragons is out of control. So angels and dragons. Crazy. Crazy how those are the two things that are just going like bananas. Alright, we have no white source, otherwise this hand would be perfection. Alright, we do have the white source now. We're sadly getting rid of the glass pool mimic here. Yes, we are. Only tapped lands. Come on, game. What the heck, man? What the heck? But we really need that concerted defense if we're up against some kind of control deck. And we are! And we are up against some kind of control deck. Okay, well, the Spara Sentinel is still nice. Alright, might also be angels, you know, you never freaking know. You never freaking know. Alright, concert defense right away. If they want to, like, if they want to counterspell this, go ahead. Counterspell it all. Counterspell it all to hell. We do have two, like, poker gods. Just freaking poker gods. Alrighty. So we're playing the Limbala, but we aren't playing our freaking, uh, our freaking, uh, Jaspara Sentinel. We are not attacking in. Because if they do have a board wipe here, yeah, or if they do have a Teferi that slows down the sunset, oh, we're not doing that kind of stuff today. We are not. So I hope we find a land here. Would be good. We did. We did find a freaking land here. All right. We go with the Inquisitore Capitano. Wow, what a choice. What a choice. Alrighty, so the Limbala is also very nice. If they do have like a port wipe here, we're kind of okay, you know? So we will just be chilling for now. Just be freaking chilling. So what do you have here? What is it that you're slamming at me? We will have to find out. We'll have to freaking find out. The key to the archive. That is alright. You know? That is still alright. I will still play another Inquisitor Captain here. We do still have enough creatures in our freaking uh, library. At least I hope so. 
So 4, 8, 11, 13, 14, 18, 22. Yeah, we do have enough. We do have enough. I just had to do the math real quick. Really freaking quick here. The glass pool mimic. Well, let's keep up our stuff here right now. Oh, yes. Freaking yes. Okay. We're doing this here. We're getting in there for as much freaking damage as we can, as fast as freaking possible. And then we're chilling. Then we're freaking chilling. Next turn we can get them. If they can't wipe the board here or whatever, that is A-OK. -okay. So concerted defense, you're up. Auto pay. If they do have another board wipe, you know, we can just uh, sacrifice the Linvala and then we still do have enough damage on the board. We still do have enough. Oh, they can't pay it. They can just pay it. Well, we still do have, like, you know, a lot of freaking power on the board. We still do have enough power on the board. Another land. Okay, I have to do the math once more. Three, six, nine, eleven, ten, uh, twelve, sixteen, twenty. We do have exactly twenty in our freaking library. So let's go for it. Let's freaking... Uh, go for it. Okay. The Archpriest is nice here. Alright, do they have the board wipe though? Is this a board wipe? It might be. It might be a freaking board wipe. It is. It is a freaking board wipe. So we're not looking too good right now. The Professor Symbolo J. Okay. Okay. So yeah. I, I didn't do the math probably here. Should have kept my concerted defenses, you know? Should have freaking... Oh, come on, game. Don't you land screw me now. Don't you do it. Don't do it. Just don't. Just freaking don't. I mean, come on. I have 21 lands in here and I really need some answers now. And we have more lands than they do. More lands than they do. Oh, gosh. That is just so bad, you know? Just so freaking bad. Alrighty. We're getting in here. We play the Limvala. It comes in tapped. A little bit saddening. But hey, what am I supposed to do about it? Not too much. So, if we find something to work with here, I would be very, very happy, you know? Very happy. Like we got him down to four. If we now are locked up, this is also kind of a land. Don't you ever forget. It is still kind of a land. Are you kidding me? Oh, come on. Come on. Can I see this? Can I see this? Can I freaking see this? I'd rather have, like, you know, the card draw. I'd rather have it. I cannot. I cannot. Okay. Well, we're still doing this. We're still freaking doing this. Oh, they have another board wipe. That is why they did it. They just have another freaking board wipe. Oh, did you seriously just do that? Okay, okay, all right. Here goes freaking nothing. I mean, we do still have enough creatures in our freaking graveyard and everything. So let's just hope for the best. All right, this is okay. It's not perfect, but it is okay. We're getting rid of the Inquisitor Captain. We're doing our best here. I'm too lazy to do the math. Too lazy. It's enough. Alright. It is still freaking enough. It does not really matter too much, you know. Does just not matter too much. If they do have another board wipe here. Well, that's just what it is. There's nothing I can do about it. Nothing. Maybe there's something else. Who knows? Maybe it is not a board wipe. Maybe they didn't draw two, three board wipes. They did draw three board wipes. They just threw three freaking board wipes. Well, we do have a concert defense now. That would have been nice one turn sooner, you know? One single turn sooner. Oh, now you're just messing with me, game. Now you're just freaking messing with me. 
I will do this. I don't want him to get anything. Nothing. Nothing. But just watch him have discovered a formula in hand here. Or a Kraken. Or whatever it is. Insanity. Freaking insanity. Please no land. Please no land. Please no land. Squad Commander is pretty nice here. It gives us more board presence. They do still have something. And I don't like it one bit. Not one. Alright, they cannot block with the... Uh, with the Hall of the Storm Giants yet. And they did not get a reduction on anything here. So it's still A-OK. -okay for now. Alright, let us pray now. Let us just pray. Are you kidding me? Game! And they have another one here. Just another one. Nice. That is like three Doom Scars. And freaking a Day of Judgment here. Get out of here, game. Now look at them have another one. Look at them have another one here. That makes freaking three Doom Scars. Just the moment they need it, you know? Just the moment they need it. Incredible. Just freaking incredible. And a removal. No land. They didn't draw land here. They did not draw it. They drew a removal. Watch them. Watch them have it. I'm just in shock. Like, this was the only thing they could have gotten that was really good for them, you know? The only freaking thing they could have gotten here. That was really, really freaking good for them. Really good for them. I mean, what the heck, man? Every single top deck is perfection. Freaking perfection. This is just incredible. Incredible. I mean, come on. Like, seriously. Now watch them draw another freaking board wipe here. Just another one. I'm insanity. That this is just insanity. Every single card is the perfect top deck. I mean, for us as well, but I mean, like, they already slammed, like, so many freaking Doom Scars and board wipes. It is not even funny anymore. We're doing this right away. Let us see what they have. Like, we will draw some cards here. And as long as we get a creature or two, we're happy. We're freaking happy. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? All right, we're just attacking in here. We are just attacking in. I mean, what are they supposed to do? Destroy my Linvala? Yeah. Yeah, of course that's what they do. <laughs> of course that is what they do. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Well, we're bringing down the Linvala here. Now we can give this creature indestructibility or protection or whatever. It's just a freaking bananas. Like the divide by zero. Three of them. And they scook it out of here, game. There's a limit, you know? Holy freaking smokes. What was that? Three divide by zeros. Three doom scars. Like, more? One, two, three Doom Scars. The Divine Purge. And out of their freaking thing through the Day of Judgment? Get, get out of here, game. You don't do this to me. We want day to Christmas. Mmm. But there you go. That shows how resilient this freaking deck is. But I still can't believe it. Like, what the heck was that? Three Doom Scars, and they drew Day of Judgment. Ah, oh, get out of here, game. Get out of here. What is this hand? If the opponent wouldn't go first, I might consider keeping it, but I can't. I seriously can't. All right. Tough choices. Tough freaking choices. We're going creatures. We are going with the creatures. Okay, I think it was a good decision to go with the creatures. But them going first is real bad for us here. Like, seriously bad. But maybe we can get them. Like, they will have the... Yeah, that is the perfect start. If you have seen the video from two days ago, you know this is the perfect start. Nothing else. Just this. Alright, 
But we can make our creatures big and strong, so that maybe we can fight them here. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Back on pop. Annoying. Please don't have a fight spell. They don't. Okay. They don't have it. Alrighty. So they're only getting in for four. That is still alright. That is still absolutely alright. Okay. Should we make our Linvala a little bit bigger? Should we do that? Now we're going with the other stuff. Like this will also be a four toughness, which is very nice. So I like that. But maybe I'm going with the Inquisitor Captain, just in case. Just in freaking case. That we do find something, you know? Would be glorious. We're getting in for the life. I mean, we will only be blocking one of these two. We won't be blocking the Werewolf Pack Leader anyways here. So I really, really hope we can find a land here. If we can find a land, oh, we're glorious. We will be glorious. Alright, that is pretty bad. That is pretty bad. But they can't push it this turn. They cannot push it. Will they be attacking with everything, though? No, they're not. Okay. Very good. Very good. So please give me a land here. Please, game. A land is all I freaking want. Yes! Freaking... Yes. Okay. So we go with Inquisitor Captain. It is just too good, you know, to say no to. Just too freaking good. And we're pushing the squad commander. Very nice. Let's try to find something to work with here. Jaspara Sentinel is exactly what we want in this situation. Like freaking exactly what we want. Alright, we're racing now. We're freaking racing. Why is the Jaspara Sentinel exactly what we want? Because with the squad commander, now we do have the full freaking party. We can't even block with the Inquisitor Captain if we need to. But it would be a little bit unsmirt, you know? Just a little bit. Alright. So we can tap down the Werewolf Pack Leader next turn. So they get in for some damage here, yes. But then what? Then what? Alright. And we'll be blocking like this. I think they will be getting rid of the Inquisitor Captain. And even if they do have the Snakeskin Veil, that is alright. Good, good. So we still have a full freaking party here. And we can now tap down the freaking Werewolf Pack Leader. If they even have the Snakeskin Veil. If they even have it. Alrighty. So, we now can push our Masked Vandal here, but do I want to? No, I think I'm going with the Trin Nimble Trap Finder. Good, very, very good. So now we can, uh, you know, tap down the Werewolf Pack Leader. If they do have it here, that is alright. If they do have a Snakeskin Veil, we can still block later, you know? They do have it. They freaking do have it. Alright, that is a little bit annoying. But only a little bit. Like, we need to be racing here. We really, really need to be racing here. And as long as we have one Nimble Trap Finder, we're kind of okay. I don't think they can kill us here. Yeah, even with that, it's not enough. Even with that, it is not freaking enough. And I think we do have enough. So we have to block one of them. Let's block this one. Let's just freaking block it. We're going down to one damage. Let's just hope they don't have another one, you know? If they do, would be a little bit bad for us. Just a little bit freaking bad for us. Alright, we're going with another Nimble Trap Finder here. Just to have it on the field. And then we're going with the Squad Commander. And now we will see if they do have it. 
Do they freaking have another one? They don't. They freaking don't. All right. So that means we can get in with everything. They have to block everything. If they can. But we do have enough freaking damage for everything. Mmm. Get out of here. Oh, baby. Get butchered, butcher. Get butchered. Oh, yes. This Angel of Unity makes this deck even a little bit better than it ever was. No rank up. So, yeah. This was a very, very nice showing at how the deck should work. We even got the freaking mono green mean machine. I love it. Mmm. So we're three to freaking all right now. Three to all. Even that freaking Azarius deck. Holy smokes, that was crazy. Their top decks were out there. I love this hand. Oh, I really, really do. So we go in Angel of Unity, into Angel of Unity, into hopefully Inquisitor Capitano. Hopefully. Freaking hopefully. All right. They will not expect a party deck. And they are werewolves. One million percent. One bajillion percent. We could also push this other Angel of Unity one more, once more. Do we want to do that? Yeah, I told you they're werewolves. I freaking told you. Nah, we're pushing our Inquisitor Capitano here now. Oh, yes, we do. Yes, we freaking do. Inquisitor Capitano gets big and strong. Very nice. So we can block here. But do we want to? I don't know yet. We'll have to find out. If they're even attacking in. Let us see what they're doing. If they are attacking in and they have like some boost. The Reckless Stormseeker, eh? And I will put it on the Rahilda. Oh, they aren't. They just aren't. What are they attacking in, though? That is the question that I have. Are you attacking in, though? No, you're not. Okay. Makes total freaking sense. Alrighty, now we have a big old blocker here. We're putting it on a squad captain. So that the squad gets bigger and stronger. And we're bringing down the Linvala. Now our party is almost complete. Good. Good. Ha! What you gonna do here, my friend? What you gonna do here? We go with the squad commander, and then we're going into the masked wood vandal. Masked vandal. Masked wood vandal. Ill-tempered loner. Alright. Go ahead. Ill-temper away. But wherever you're putting this, I will take the damage. I will gladly freaking take it. And then I will just make you unable to do anything. Freaking unable to do freaking anything. Yeah, go ahead. Take your take your little shot here at me. Take it. Do it. Freaking do it. See what you have from that. We could also go double. Oh, we can't. We can't. Okay. We cannot go double masked vandal. Sadly. Sadly, we cannot do that. But hey, I mean, <laughs> this is still pretty legit, you know? Still pretty freaking legit. And we're pushing one, of course. All eggs in one basket has never been wrong. Never. All right. So, little angel wizards and everything, slam in through the air. Good, good. Next turn, we win. Next turn, we freaking win. Oh, delicious. Delicious. Just, mwah, delicious. So, if they want to, like, attack me with the ill-tempered loner, that is all right with me. But next turn, we do have enough for everything. It becomes night. Okay. That was unexpected. To say the least. So. But I mean, what are they supposed to do? Seriously, I will just block with one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You do that. That is still not enough. Just not enough. Hey, I mean, it's 11 damage. Looks tasty, but it's just not enough. Oh, it has trample? <laughs> it has trample. Oh, I did not know that. I just didn't know that it had trample. Okay, so still not freaking enough here. Still not enough. All right, Masked Vandal, you're up. Good. Pushing the other Masked Vandal. All right. 
and the other masked vandal. All right. And now, just for shites and giggles, you know, we're doing this. On to the squad commander. Nice. And now let us see how much freaking damage we can do here. I think it will be a lot. I think it will be a lot. Kudos to you to pull it through, Roman. Oh, yes, they were on 10. That was a delicious freaking 30 damage. Just like that. Just... Just a pinch of destruction. Mmm. I can't believe that we're for the all right now. We're up against a steamboat captain. Steamboat Willy. I uh, no, that's not the name. We go in first. We don't have any white. That is so saddening. Now we do. Now we do. What am I getting rid of here? When I be drawing I think it's the Jaspara Sentinel. Because we don't have any green right now. So yeah, no need to freaking keep it. Should have gone with the Glass Pool Mimic, but I'm just hoping that I can get, you know, myself another land. If I can find one land, we're good. If I can't, well, then we're not good. Steamboat Capitano. Well, we found ourselves the land. Pretty nice. Pretty freaking nice. We're going with the Linvala here. We're up against some kind of uh, Azorius deck once more. Annoying. Okay. Yeah, okay. It's just clerics. It's just, just clerics. Okay. So, we're pushing the squad commander here, of course. And if we find one more land, oh, we're so happy. Happy like a cloud, Charlie Brown. All right. And we can also, like, put down the glass pool mimic as a land if we want to. So they might have removal here, but we do have the Linvala, so it's all all right. The Trellisara. That is super annoying, but still okay. Like, they're going, like, seriously strong here. Like, look at them. Pushing both creatures right away. What is this? What the heck is this? All right. But they ain't there, I have gotten no, like, life linkers on the field, so that is all alright. Okay, sadly we have to do this now. And we're just getting in there with the Angel of Unity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just getting in there with the Angel of Unity. Now we do something crazy here. But I want to push my squad commander into oblivion. Into freaking oblivion. Alright. So, they will get a hit here, but we will have a 5-5 five -five on the field. And these little blockers. And as soon as we find a rogue, we're good. And we do have some rogues in there. We do have some. One is on the bottom of our library right now, but we still do have more. So nothing to fear. Nothing to worry about. Maybe we Oh my lord, if we can find like a Capitan... That would be amazing. Freaking amazing. So what you gonna do here, my friend, Steamboat Captain? Choo choo! So it hasn't been long until we encountered Valkyries and Angels and Lifelinkers and everything. But you know we have our own Angels here. So bring it! Freaking bring it! Up until now they don't know what we are. The Righteous Valkyrie, it was about time. You finally showed up, didn't you? You finally showed up. This is just bananas, like literally freaking bananas. But are they willing to sacrifice one of their creatures here? Are they willing to? I don't think they are. Yeah, that's what I thought. That is what I freaking thought. Alright, so our squad commander will get bigger here. And we are now just attacking in there. Like we have blockers now. What do they have? Nothing I tell you, nothing. All right, and we do have another squad commander just waiting for them and as long as we don't draw another land here Like for now, we're still at a 50% land ratio and a third of lands in our deck Like there's like probabilities and everything and this is rather improbable But they have the double thing. Oh man Nice Very very nice Yeah, that is brutal. That is brutal. 
I think we don't have a chance here if we don't find something off the top right away. Like right freaking away. We really need something good. Really, really good. Like they cry here every single turn now. That is no bueno. That is just no freaking bueno. Not at all. Are you kidding me? Okay, go ahead. You do that. I have another squad commander waiting for you. I have just another one. So, what you doing here, my friend? What is it that you're doing? You're attacking it with the Tranasara. All right, and you're attacking it with that. Well, that is all right. I will block here with the uh, Angel of Unity. And I will block one of these suckers. Holy moly. Like, come on, give me something good here. No land. No land. Oh, yes. The Inquisitore Capitano is very, very nice here. Like, seriously nice here. And we even found our freaking rogue. Yes. Freaking yes. Okay. So we're tapping down the Righteous Valkyrie number one. And then we're attacking in with the Linvala here. We cannot attack in with this next turn. And we're drawing a card. Which is incredibly good for us. It's a land. It's incredibly bad for us. Just incredibly bad. <laughs> but our squad commander is still looking A-OK, -okay, you know? It is still looking A-OK. -okay. Now what we've got to do is to survive for a little bit. How many of the same do you have? Okay, it's just one. But uh, the Righteous Valkyrie was very good as well. I mean, this is going to be a good old battle here. A good old freaking battle. But we have the card advantage from now on out. We do have it. Yes, we do. They're putting on bottom. But holy smokes, they're drawing so many... F uh, they're looking at so many cards. We do not do that. We don't. But it's still okay, you know? All we've got to do is to survive for a little bit. And we will have like four more blockers very soon. Very, very soon. It's a land. They paid for it. Why? Why did you do that? Why did you seriously do that? Why did you pay for the land? Because you can? Just because you can. Okay, they have no instant or sorceries here. None. None so ever. The Angel of Unity. Do we have enough? We do have enough. So that I can make myself a big old squad commander here. Good. I like it. I like it very much. Alright. Squad commander, you're super buff now. Like seriously buff. That is very nice. Very, very nice. Alright. So. We're tapping down the Righteous Valkyrie here. And uh, we are getting in with this. Also with this, because we can. And with this. Because why the heck not? They're indestructible. Freaking indestructible. I will draw a lot of cards here. And I will get myself some life back. And that is all freaking good. Holy moly. Yeah, I will draw at least three cards here. At least three freaking cards. Because they will not block. Let's be honest. All right. All freaking right. Very, very nice, Nimble Trap Finder. You did well. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. You did very well. So now we can block with all of these. The Righteous Valkyrie cannot attack in. The Aura? Yeah, does not concern me too much, you know. Just, to be honest, not at all. It doesn't concern me at all. Like, we would need a lot of stuff here to be very happy about it. Like, yeah, you get some life back, but you know, I can just smack in there for a freaking lot. All right. So I have to do the math, though. I have to do the freaking math. They aren't attacking in. Oh, they fear me now. Oh, my lord. This is so good. This is so freaking good. Yes. Freaking yes. Okay, do they have anything in there? No, they don't. And just Para Sentinel, you're up as well. Good. And we're using the spoils right away. Just because we freaking can. And, uh... Let's get, like, rid of this. Like, we still have freaking indestructibility, you know? 
All we need is some of them to stay back. Just some of them to stay back. We're getting in with this. Well, this can be blocked easily. So we're only getting in there with the flyers. And this one. I mean... I just want one of them to stay back. We're also getting in with you. You know what? If they block him, that is alright. I just need some of them to stay back. And the more cards we draw here, the better. Like, we're in a total freaking advantage here now. This is indestructibility, my man. Indestructibility! Yeah, okay. You go ahead. You do that. You freaking do that. Just do it. Just freaking do it. Like, read the card! They have indestructibility! In. Freaking. Destructibility! It cannot die! Not. Die. You get that? Yes! Look at all the cards! We have to just make sure that we don't mill ourselves! Alright! Like, couldn't care less, you know? I just couldn't care less! Like, they have one flyer left! And we have all the power in the air! Alright! Yeah, get some, get some life back. It's okay. As long, like, even if they do it, even if they do it, even if they do have a board wipe here. You know what we have? First off, we have a concerted defense. Second off, we have all the cards in the known universe. We have two concerted defenses now. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. And turn. This can go, this can go, this can go, and this can go. Oh my lord. <laughs> We have all the cards in the universe now. What are they supposed to do? They cannot even attack in with the freaking aura here. They cannot attack in with it. Yeah, all this life gain doesn't matter at all to me. Not at all. I will still get myself more stuff and more stuff. So, yeah. Once I bring down the Archpriests of Iona, they should realize that the game is pretty much over. Pretty much freaking over. Like, they're back to 18. Doesn't matter to me. Not in the slightest. Not at all. My turn. Good. Good. So here comes the R. And a scoop! Mmm! Get out of here, Valkyries! I deserve the rank up so hard for this. They were even higher than us. Oh! Five to freaking O! Get in there! Party freaking hardy. Mmm. Okay, in all honesty, I have not expected this deck to go 5 0. Like the game against Azorius, I was sure we would lose that. I was so sure that we had no freaking business of ever winning that. But in the end, our top decks were one percentile better than theirs. And you know, 51 to 49 is all you need to win sometimes. But before we get into the wrap-up, like an old-school candy, I want to thank all of my patrons and members, starting as per usual with Azad with the Great Hearted, Randy Campbell, John Chris Stevens, Tom Tom, Vincent Mitch, Vicky White, John Val, Philippe Rodriguez, Tias, Jeremy, my friends, Mike Grave Wolf, Mercy88, Steve O, Jonathan Norton, Empty Back, Morphe, Luis, Philippe Sanchez Perez, Jelta, Skevich, Dean Leland, Juan, Jose Ceron, Marcario Frescas, Kelly Boris, Drake, Graham, Cordu, Bandit, Just Amanda, Oran, Jefferson Perito, Sign and Blood, Talk, Vorpal, Chad, Riverick, Billy Basham, Christian Rudig, Aeon, Jake, the MTG Snake, Danny Montgomery, Lucas Tima, Jay Jackson, Ariman, Azik, XV, Chad, and Trainer, Ruman, Ganef, Drake, Al Troll, Hug, Curver, and Brian Don O'Hare, a special thanks for Gold Span Dragons, Waffles, Randy K. Donald T. Jen Human, Simster 65, William White, Rico Colombaroli, Marco Marino, your boy Big Bizzle, Mr. Mild, Damien Tate, James Wade, Monkey Ridge, Jack Chop, Jefferson Meyer, Phil, Rafe, Gypsy, Nerd, Paul English Wolf, Anima, Cthulhu and Letter, Silas Fox, Nick Bob, Tim Novitsky, Horrific, Del Martinez, Kevin Pratt, Matt D, Isaiah MB, Trent Reese, Man's Room Louis, James Brown, a and Hale, Hale, Timmer, Jeremiah Willett, Johan Sancho, and Joe Travelart. And a special thanks, of course, to our Nico Bolas, God Pharaohs, Earl, Chris Katowski, Grandoff, William Smith, Ariel Wolf, The Lacrimae, Brian O'Reilly, Malchija, Quicksneel, Jonathan Zawa, and Brown Beard the Second. Thank you all so very, very freaking much for going the extra month supporting the channel with your hard earned cash. There's a lot of stuff that I would never be able to do without all of you. Like the giveaway that we have very soon. I know that until the end of the year, we will be able to hit the freaking 9,000. So from the bottom of my heart, 
A special thanks to my patrons and members. And if you want to check out the patron and the membership, there's a button below every single video. There's a link in the description for the patron that you can check that out. But if you don't have any hard and cash share, don't you worry about it, sweet summer child. Or sweet Christmas child. We have other ways to support the channel, like subscribing. It is free. It doesn't cost you anything. And once we hit to 10,000, oh my lord, there will be an even, even bigger party than this one. So yeah, but 9,000 is first. First the 9, then the 10, and then we're good. So yeah, is there anything to say about this deck? No. If you like party decks, well, this is the deck for you, my friend. It is just so good. Maybe, maybe, you could cut one Archpriest for a Linvala. Just to make sure that you always have a Linvala. But as this being the only legendary creature in the whole freaking deck, I feel like it would be a bad idea to have too many of this very beautiful freaking angel wizard. Because, you know, you can only always have one legendary creature on the field of the same type, so uh, that is not really useful. So yeah, this was the party! There is not much to say about this deck, but it is amazing. The one last turn where we drew, like, eight cards or something like that? Delicious. Freaking delicious. I loved it, it was everything I wanted to do with this deck, and I went 5 to freaking oh! That is insanity to me. Like, normally I should lose at least one game, but I didn't. I got Mono Green, I got freaking Valkyries, I got them freaking all. So yeah, thank you all so very freaking much. Tomorrow is Christmas. Sadly, I only have like a green Christmas sweater. Like, I will show it off tomorrow again, but this is the sweater. Look at it. It is a Green Lantern Christmas sweater, but it's like, ah, oh, I cannot wear it, you know? Because you would see through my body, and I'm no Christmas spirit of Christmas past. Get out of here, Max Scrooge. So thank you all so very freaking much once more. I'm Matches Malone, and I will see you all tomorrow.